Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to make fabric mushrooms. Like one of these. You could make them with a long spindly stem, or you could make one with a big fat stuffed stem, or you could make a little tiny one. It's up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what equipment we need. You need a base. Now this is a big one. This one's going to be like this. You need a base that's a cone shape and I'll attach all the details of the sizes to the lesson. Then you need a circle to go on the base. You need a top for the toadstool. It doesn't have to be red. It can be whatever colour you like. I get a circle or a plate to um, draw around so you get a nice circle. But if you haven't got one, just do an approximate circle. So you need a top for your toadstool or mushroom. And then you need this is the bit that's going to go underneath here and this needs to be bigger and even though it ends up smaller you need it bigger because it's going to fold over like this and be tucked in so it's actually going to have more area than the outer one the outer one is going to go over it so what we're going to do is we're going to sew it all together so if you see here we've got a smaller version that's what it looks like when you have um, made it into the underneath section and then this bit is going to go over the top like this. So this one actually ends up bigger in the long run but to start off with we have to have a larger outer. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> so you've got your base, you're going to sew your base together, here's one fold it over so you fold it over like this it doesn't matter which side if it's felt if it's material then you need to fold it with the best side on the inside you fold it over and then you hand stitch all the way up the side you can use this um, sewing machine if you want to for this bit but as most of it has to be hand stitched you may as well just hand stitch it so hand stitch all the way up the side I do a stitch where I do one stitch like this and then I go back to the middle of there and then slightly forward and that way you get a sort of looping effect that makes it stronger so you get a really nice strong stitch so you sew all the way up and then you get your bottom circle see this one's a mini one this one's going to be a little tiny one like this you get your bottom circle and you pop it inside like this, you pop it inside and then you sew it all the way around. So I'm going to sew that now all the way around and this makes a base. And I've got it so that it's sitting just on top, just on top of the um, base so that it, here we go, going all the way around like this and you just keep moving it, keep moving it around. I'm doing loose tacking because you don't want to sit here and watch me go all the way around it during this. So loose tacking all the way around and then you strengthen it once you've got it in the right place. So I'm literally just sewing the bottom onto my toadstool. We're going to be making fabric toadstools and moths. Here we go. And they're really nice to have. They're a little bit like Alice in Wonderland, something from Alice in Wonderland. Here we go. So all the way around, like that. There. So if you see the end of that, you can see there's the top, there's the base. It's a circle and I've sewn it all the way around and the rough edges are sticking out here and that means that they won't be seen when we turn it the right way around. So I'm going to turn it the right way around now. There we go cut off the end 
And then what you're going to do after that, so you start it off with your cone shape, flat bottom, flat top, wider at the bottom, and your circle. And I've sewn up the side of the cone and then attached the circle. And then what you do is you push that through. So just use your thumbs like I'm doing here. Push that through, turn it inside out, and you've got a base for a toadstool. Okay, here's one I made earlier. And then what you do is you stuff it with some filler. You can get this from Amazon, from Hobbycraft, from uh, the internet, eBay, uh, any suppliers. People that I've sent lessons home to, they will have some fluffy stuff in their box with all the equipment that you need. So, you stuff it, and it's up to you whether you want it soft and floppy or solid. This one's quite a chunky, solid one. I'm going to make it quite solid. There you go. So when you get to this stage, what we're going to do, I don't know if any of you have seen toadstools in the wild, but if you go walking, especially just after rain in about September or August, then you sometimes see these Amanita muscaria toadstools. And those are the ones that um, have the red, the red tops like this, but they have white spots on as well. If they just have the um, red tops and no white spots, then they're called sickeners. And you don't touch either of them because red for danger. Don't go anywhere near them, but they look beautiful. You can photograph them, draw them, paint them, just don't touch them because they are poisonous. But we're trying to recreate them because they're beautiful. They're the sort of toadstools that are always in the books that the fairies, the pixies sit on. And um, I think they're lovely. They're very attractive to look at. This one was made with very little stuffing and a piece of card inside and a bendy stem. You can alter it to suit whatever style you like. So there you go. We've made the stem. The next thing we're going to do is put a doily around it. You can use a piece of lace if you haven't got a doily or you can um, wrap anything you like around it. This one's just got a bit of netting and fluff. This one's got a bit of lace around it. It's a bit too frilly, that one. And this one has a doily around because if you see Amanita muscaria or fly agaric mushrooms, toadstools, out in the wilds, they usually have a little skirt underneath them and that's where they had a, a cowl over the top of the mushroom and it's gradually, as they've grown, it's gradually pulled away and it ends up becoming the skirt underneath. So you cut the middle out of your doily and then you push the stem through like that and then that is going to be the little skirt. And what you do is you get your needle and you sew it on by hand, nice and tightly, so that if you pull it, it doesn't come off. So you do that. You can always save the dot for putting on top of the toadstool as well. Because if you have a few of them, you can make one of them a spotty one. Or you can use material that's spotty to start off with. Or you can use a Posca pen or you can stick felt circles on, cut them out. So the next thing we're going to do is make the top. So I've got one ready made here that I'm going to attach to that, but this is how you make it. So you've got your circles, two circles. The outer one's going to be smaller than the inner one. So this is the inner one. And we want to make it look all puckered because if you look underneath the toadstool, it's got little lines all underneath it. So we want to make it look as similar as possible but we're going to stuff it as well. So what you do is you get your outer circle and you very loosely tack all the way around it like this. See what I'm doing? You just push, pull, push, pull all the way around 
and then you pull it along and then you carry on. And you do it with a really long piece of thread because you want the same thread to be in there all the way along. And you pull and gradually as you do it, it starts to pucker up. Look, if you pull, it puckers. And that's what we want. We want to turn it into a little bag like this. So you gather so you gather all of your thread, really long thread, and as you sew, you pull, and it starts to pull it together to make it like a little bag. And if you pull, 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 it puckers up. Pull, pull, pull. And maybe find the other end to pull from the other side so it's not just all one side that's all puckered up. Pull, pull, pull. There. So what I've got here is a little bag, but we don't just want it loose. So you fluff it out a bit like this, and then more stuffing. I love that stuff. And you put it through the hole in the middle. Here we go. So I'm stuffing, stuffing, stuffing. And this is going to be the underneath part of the toadstool. So I'm stuffing it with fluff and then you pull it tightly so that it's all sealed up. Oh, I've got my threads mixed up there. That one goes there. That's it. So you pull it tightly like that and then you make a little knot like that and you pull it so that you've got a little bag there. So when you've got your little bag, like this one, you're then going to make the outside. Okay? So you're going to sew all the way around the outside like this. All the way around the outside. You fold over. See, it doesn't have to be felt. It could be anything. So you fold over the edge like this. Fold it over. I don't know if you can see it there. And you're going to sew all the way along the edge, like this. All the way along. Fold it over. Like that. And that way, you're going to get a circle, like this, where it's all folded over, all the way around. And then, you're going to pull that thread and make it pucker a little bit like you did with the other one, but not as much. Not as much. You just want to do it a little bit and spread it all the way around. And then what you do is you get your middle section, your little bag, and you put the outer bit over it and then pull. And you pull and you move those puckers all the way around so that it gradually holds it in place. Like that. You pull it all the way around and you tie it off when you're happy with where it is. And you left like this. Then you get your needle and your thread and you sew one bit to another all the way around like this. Sew it all the way around, so you've got one bit sewn to another. You can see there, all the way around. And that holds it together. Then you take out the tacking stitches, the loose stitches, around the edge, neaten it up a bit, and then you're ready to stick it on top of the stem. So you get your needle and thread again, one more time. I add a bit of glue, put a bit of glue on the top, stick it down where you want it and then gradually, very gradually, just go around picking up bits all the way around your toadstool and sew it together so that you end up with a toadstool. So you've got a base that's stuffed, you've got a little doily on it, you've got a puckered underneath, you've got a gathered top and you've stuffed it and then you sew it all together and you have a toadstool. 
and it can be any size you like. There we go. Whatever size you want, you decide with your circle. It could be a large top like this one, or it could be a little top like this one. Large base like this one, or a little base like this one. You decide. And that's how you make a stuffed mushroom. Okay? So, and it doesn't have to be felt. It could be all sorts of interesting materials. See what you've got in the cupboards. Next, we're going to make a moth, but I'll do that in a separate video. Okay? Little moth. Bye.